Hey everyone, Chandler here, and I am so excited. I'm sorry that this video is late. I Yesterday I had to take the SATs, and then Peyton and I went prom dress shopping. And then today I had an AP exam review, so that's why this video is up kind of late. But um, I was really, really excited because, um, as you may or may not know, I recently acquired a P.O. box because... A friend of mine, her name is Tally, she wanted to send me a painting that she made for me, which is so cool. And um, I finally got it. After I open this painting, I'm going to start the Q&A that I had said that I was going to do. Okay? Alright. Wow, this is on some really nice fabric. I'm so excited. I'm going to hang it up on my wall. Um, okay, I just hung it up on my wall. As you can see behind me, there's a lot of stuff here already, so I'm pretty excited to have a new addition to my wall. Okay, as promised, now a Q&A. I asked you guys on Twitter and on Instagram to send me some questions that you had for me. And I am going to also answer some questions that I get on my YouTube videos in the comment section. First things first, I get a lot of questions asking me how old I am because I look extremely young, which I understand, I do. Um, but I am in fact 16 years old, I turned 17 in August, and Peyton is also 16 and she also turned 17 in August. What's your opinion on getting top surgery? Personally, I think that if you want top surgery, you should definitely get it so that you can feel safe in your own body. But I personally, um, I know I had wanted top surgery um, in ninth grade a couple years ago, but currently I don't want top surgery. I would rather just wear a binder. Um, but I definitely think that if people want top surgery that they should be able to get it. How long have you and Peyton been together? We have been together for almost a year. Our year anniversary is May 16th of 2015. How long have you and Peyton known each other? We have known each other since our freshman year of high school, which was a couple years ago. So, How old were you when you knew you were a gender? I actually was 16 when I knew I was agender, which seems like really not that long ago since I'm only, like, since I'm still 16. <laughs> but when I was 14 is when I first knew I was transgender, and then it was when I was 16 that I came to the conclusion that I'm agender. What do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> Um, I actually, I want to be a film director, which I think is really, really cool, and I would love to keep making YouTube videos and make short films to post on YouTube. I think that would be incredible. I get comments on my YouTube videos asking what my Instagram is. My Instagram is instagram.com slash Chandler in Wilson. My Tumblr, which I also get asked, is allfreaksheretumblr.com just spelled exactly as is, no dashes or anything. And um, my Twitter is also twitter.com slash Chandler and Wilson. I'll put all the links for that down below, but you can also find them on my YouTube page. I get asked how I came up with the name Chandler. Now, this is actually... There, there are a lot of different reasons why people think I got the name Chandler. Um, but the actual reason, when I was in second grade, there was this girl in my class, and her name was Chandler, and for some reason I just loved her name. And I really, really did like the name a lot ever since I met Chandler from second grade. I just, I loved her name. I loved the way it sounded. It just, it felt right when I said it. It felt right when I wrote it down, when I, when I claimed that name as my own. It felt right. And I had gone through other names and they just never really felt right to me. Um, if you've tried going through names to see which one feels right, then you know what I mean by this. 
when you test out a name and it just doesn't click right, it just doesn't feel right, and you have to try a new name or try different pronouns or anything, and it just, it, it was the one. It was the one that felt right to me. It felt the most comfortable and the most satisfying. It felt like I had really found a piece of myself, which might sound really cliche, but it, it was really important to me, and I really liked that name. Okay, that's all the questions that I have for today. Thank you so much for sending in all your questions. I really hope I answered them well. Um, if you have any more questions, just comment them down below and I will try to reply and get back to you on those. Um, as I said, all my links will be down in the description as well as my P.O. box. And thank you, Tally, for sending me the painting. I love it. And it's on my wall back behind me over here. And I'm just... <laughs> I'm, I'm really, really excited about it. So, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you later. Bye, guys!